and aggregate means stand and gravel. Secondly, any cement that is used in any water facility is usually water-resistant cement and some additives are added to it, so that when it dries, it can isolate water and not be affected by it. Water-resistant cement is the password in building any water structure. The first step that engineers take is that they identify a specific area in the water body, close it, and surround it with high barriers resembling a dam until it becomes sealed from all sides and its roof is open from above. It is usually made up of adjacent strips that are planted at the bottom of the surface and then pumps are installed that draw water from this area, completely drying it. Thus, the workers and engineers can work in it as if they were working on the ground without any problems and this is what makes the construction process a relatively easy process. After that, they started building using traditional methods, pouring the foundations and bases, and they poured the reinforced concrete columns that would later construct the bridge. These closed rooms or metal barriers, although efficient, are very expensive. Then another method of dry construction appeared that was used, especially if the depth of the body of water in which the bridge would be built was small and not deep. 